It's important to always stay in competition mode, and that's why it was no option to say I'll just drop a season. One is constantly looking for contests, and I'm happy to be able to jump today. Normally we have a big goal for the season, whether it's a World Championships, Olympics or European Championships, but this year we didn't have that. Competition, this city, uh, this very beautiful atmosphere and magic, energetic, yeah. <laughs> Jumping is, is crazy, yeah, nice. <laughs> I really like Age in Innsbruck is set as the female pole vaulters get themselves ready for one of their first big meets of the year. First up is Fanny Smets from Belgium, who is trying to clear a height of 4.25 meters in her second attempt. Fully focused, Smets charges down the FlySwap multi-track and sails over the bar, clearing 425. The next jumper is 31-year-old Lisa Riese. The six-time German pole vault champion knows that the key to success is a well-timed approach run, and she succeeds and also clears the bar at 425. With the bar still at 4.25 meters, Amelie Svabakova is up next. The 20-year-old Czech athlete knows each jump is a puzzle of different elements and everything has to fall into place. And she also successfully sails over the 4.25 meter mark. The bar has been raised to 4.45 meters and it's Fanny Smet's last chance as she failed her first two attempts at this height. She knocks the bar off and is out of the competition, clearly disappointed. Can the youngster from the Czech Republic raise her game and succeed at 4.45 meters? Svabakova really goes for it, launches herself into the jump, but also fails to clear the bar. Now all eyes are on Lisa Riza. The experienced German knows that if she succeeds with her third and final jump at 4.45, she's the winner. Riza shows that she has nerves of steel, clearing the bar with some room to spare and winning the 2020 Golden Roof Challenge. But the German isn't done yet and raises the bar by 10 centimeters to 4.45 meters. Cheered on by the crowd, she charges down the FlySwat multi-track, but knocks off the bar. Still a great victory for Lisa Riza. Riza wins the 2020 Golden Roof Challenge ahead of Smets and Svabakova, who share second place. In the women's long jump event, the current number one and two in the world rankings, Natasya Mironchik Ivanova and Marina Bekromanchuk are in attendance, and the Belarusian Mironchik Ivanova still has a score to settle with the Ukrainian after she was beaten by her at last year's Golden Roof Challenge. First up is Abigail Adjai, a 23-year-old German heptathlete who hasn't got any realistic podium chances here in Innsbruck. A powerful approach by the young German who injures herself on her landing and has to pull out of the competition. The reigning Golden Roof champion and world number two in 2020, Marina Bekromanchuk, looks focused and is back to defend her title. The Ukrainian has an explosive in-run and launches herself into a good jump. A great takeoff, and with 6.72 meters, it's first place for now. Next up, her biggest rival in this year's world number one, Natasya Mironchik Ivanova from Belarus. Requesting a bit of audience support, the 31-year-old Mironchik Ivanova gets herself into the right frame of mind and then charges down the FlySwat multi-track. It's a good jump, and with 6.83 meters, she moves into first place. Austria's Verena Preiner is another heptathlete in the start field and the only homegrown talent at this year's event who wants to show the Innsbruck crowd what she's got. Cheered on by her Austrian fans, the 25-year-old goes all out and shows a solid jump with 6.17 meters and moves into fourth place.
Natasha Moronchik Ivanova is the world's best in 2020, and the 31-year-old takes her time to get ready for her next jump. The Belarusian gets into the zone and then explodes onto one of the most aggressive in-runs in the women's long jump circuit. It's another massive jump, and Mironchik Ivanova is clearly happy with her performance, but will she better her previous jump? Every centimeter counts, and with 6.94 meters, she extends her lead, but also sets a new world's best for 2020, taking home the Nord Keta trophy worth 11,000 euros. Nea Filipic from Slovenia clearly enjoys the atmosphere in Innsbruck's old town as she gets ready for her fourth jump. With the rain making the in-run on the fly swat trickier than in the earlier stages of the event, Filipic still goes full throttle and shows a good jump. It's not enough to beat the two world's best long jumpers, but with 6.52 meters, she moves into third place. Psyching herself up, defending champion Marina Beck Romanchuk knows only too well that she has to deliver a big jump to move into first place and beat her big rival Mironchuk Ivanova. Fully focused, she charges down the fly swat multi track and throws herself into another big jump. Although she improves on her previous attempt, 6.82 meters is not enough to beat Moronchik Ivanova and Bek Romanchik ends up in second place. So Moronchik Ivanova is the 2020 Golden Root Challenge champion ahead of Bek Romanchuk and Neya Filipic in third. I very happy and I like uh, competition now. Uh, thank you so much organizers. Uh, thank you so much people and I very like uh, Innsbruck. I don't happy. Uh, I want uh, today better results but uh, I have 682. It's not bad but uh, I hope uh, next competition better.